One of the things I like to start out with thinking about starts with um, kind of how you choose the company that you, you, you build, or kind of how, you, how do you choose the problem to solve. It's, uh, you can look at it as something, problem selection, market selection, whatever. Um, and so I've asked my, my cousin this, sort of, if you were to choose between the three, what would you say the most important uh, piece of the puzzle would be between uh, the people on the team, the product you build, and the market that you choose? What's the most important part to building a successful, large business? So the people are obviously important. Having a great team, the product you design is ultimately what people are going to touch and use. And the market is going to dictate a lot about the scale of the business. Um, and so I, I've actually kind of presented that to some of the entrepreneurs I worked with and got a variety of different answers, all of which were inspired from a number of different reasons. But the thing that matters the most in that case, and I've learned this firsthand, is picking a big market. And the reason is that if you pick a niche market, if you pick a small um, uh, area, that's the upper cap on the potential for your business. So you guys have probably heard people talk about lean startup and failing fast, you know, wanting to have theories, test them, and you know, fail as quickly as possible, move on to the next thing. The worst thing in the world as an entrepreneur that I've experienced is something we kind of call startup you know, uh, purgatory. It's where your business is kind of operating, you've got existing commitments, you've got employees, you've got, uh, you know, you've got something that's running and operating but isn't quite what you had hoped it would be. And so I've been there, my second startup, uh, something called Snowcap, it was a digital music company. And it was a company that basically found itself in that state, this sort of purgatory where you've got friends you're working with, you've taken investment, but you've kind of lost the sense that it would, it would become that great, big success that you had hoped. So, you know, the, one of the best ways to figure that out or to ensure that that doesn't happen is picking a really big market, an area where there's a huge opportunity to explore <coughs> potential uh, business opportunities and experiment. And, you know, if you are successful, there's, you know, uh, you know, a wealth of uh, opportunity there.